welcome back to your channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be doing my shop with me from Kroger. And there won't be any haul this week because I'm doing shopping for my mother this week. So we're going to be focusing on what new items they might have, some of the empty spots, and some of the vegan items that they might have here at the Kroger Marketplace. And if you're ready, come along with me. If you did know, Kroger sells the Instant Pot here. And it's on sale for $79.99. I'm not sure how good that price is good till, but uh, they do have it. And they also do have the uh, Instapot uh, air fryer, which is on the other side over here. Other side over here. I'll show you that one here once I get to it. That one. And here's the Instapot instant branded uh, air fryer. For $139.99, which is what I want to pick up eventually for myself. But I usually just look at the prices on eBay because you can actually get a refurbished one for a lot cheaper. Or one that was in like a Amazon pallet flip or something, like a returned item. You can usually get it less than $100 off of eBay. And here's the better view of the Instapot, so you can see. I don't know if I ever showed you this, but this is homemade brand ice cream, which is made by United Dairy Farmers, which is a local convenience store here in Cincinnati. It's been around for a very long time. These are some of the ice creams that they carry and the homemade brand. Which I do got others, but this is one of the more popular ones. Now let's see on the door what the price is for it. Look at it. For 629. And you know what the low price is, it's probably gonna go up. Probably over seven dollars eventually. And I never understand those power-ups here. Why you really need to spend 30 just to earn reward, which most rewards that you get are not for stuff that you would buy. Now 629 is the one for a for a quart and a half of ice cream. I wanted to show you this in comparison to the Delhi Kroger of what they have here for the uh, plant-based uh, ice creams here. Seems like mine has a little bit more since they replenished it from it being totally empty the other day. Mm. I mean, last week, or the week before when I'm filming this. And I do have some new items here, which I'm going to show you here. Here, what is that? I know that's, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. I know the last word is Lua, but I don't pronounce it. It actually sounds pretty good, the macadamia mill. Make more of it up here. And this one's new too. Let's see, uh, I guess you pronounce that Nusa, I guess that's how you pronounce it. The frozen yogurt gelato here, gelato. I do have the ugly, which I've tried before. I know they're pretty good. And so delicious, pretty good. Oh, that locked in price here. There. Yeah. Who knows how long that's going to stay. And they say it to the 8th till July 18th, but I don't know if I want to trust it. After the sales done, it'll probably be up over $6. And they got these ones down here, which are new. The uh, So Delicious Wonder Milk here. And of course, these are all dairy free. And butter Pecan is definitely one of my favorites. I've had So Delicious ice cream before, but just not these exact ones. I've had these ones up here, but not the new ones down here. And here's more of those down here. Locked in prices, which are probably going to be 
going up over six dollars probably when they're done with these sale prices here I know I've shown you this brand before but this is another local brand and called graders which you have probably have seen in other cities like like in other Kroger branded stores because they tend to carry it in more than just the, the Cincinnati area stores or Indiana or Kentucky but these are some of the stuff that they carry in their flavors I've had the s'mores one before in the past and it was pretty good when I when I did eat dairy and down here Wow almost $19 for a pint and a half of ice cream I can't believe it almost a pint and a half for $19 Wow if any of you are wondering who shop at Kroger are trying to find the party size of uh, little individual little pieces of a like, candy here they move them into the seasonal section for some reason see they are on sale on a lot of these and they say the sale price goes till September 5th so I'm thinking it's for the whole entire s spring and summer that they're going to be on sale here all the candy here that includes the Twizzlers over here I've never seen the Black Forest branded gummies before but I know they're not new but I've never seen them myself even got the cotton candy up here on sale until September They have these summertime cups, glasses, and mugs and stuff all on sale until September on some of these, and some of these will also go to until July. And some of them will even go till October, like these here, like these little tiny little thermoses here. Thermos here. Which more or less just a for your water and some of these only go till June 20th and a fun fact June 20th is my brother's birthday you see they're all varies on the uh, date that the sale goes to some September some July, some June, some October. I'm trying to give you an idea of the different dates here. And some of the items they sell here. You even got a... You want to make your own slushies at home? More shaved ice here. Got the machine on sale for $29.99 until June 21st. You got your own cotton candy maker machine, which is on sale for $49.99. That goes until September 12th, the sale price. You can see here they sell a lot more frozen vegetarian slash vegan items here at the marketplace than they do at my Kroger in Delhi. I would go over to that section over there, but they're over here doing their 
stacking, so I can't really get in get in their way. It is kind of messy looking up here. There's my chicken pate day, which I do in wings and stuff that I do like. And I recommend anybody try them, but but for the patties here or fillets, you only get three to a bag for the for the price that they give you there for $7.99. You can see here they're starting to get low on the Kroger branded uh, potatoes here, all the frozen potatoes. All your french fries, your tater bites, your tater tots, your hash browns, stuff like that. And if you didn't know that french fries and stuff, depending on how they're made, they should be totally vegan and vegetarian. Even if it doesn't say it on the package. The reason they might not say in a package is that they could be cooked in the same oil as they do their chicken patties in, but most likely they don't. But there's always that caution that it could be. If you're not too worried about it, I'd definitely say these are a nice vegan option here. As potatoes or brine, those are really good. I've had those before. Never had the southern style, but they look pretty good. And here's the homemade brand again, but in a little pint size this time. I want to show you what type of pints that they have. If you want to see all different flavors, remember you can always pause the video. Trying to go slow so you can see everything. Not sure if I ever showed you this before, but the Earth Balance is a vegan form of butter slash margarine. And you also got the country crack on the other side, which I'm going to show you in a little bit here. Oh yeah, didn't notice they got the sticks up here too, for the earth bone. And here's the country crack over here. And this is vegan butter. And they also got the kite hill, which is also vegan over here. I wanted to show you this in my last uh, shop with me, but I just couldn't find it at my Kroger. The uh, feta crumbles here. I've had them and they are pretty darn good. And they're dairy free and vegan friendly. And like always they have that, that Parmesan cheese that I always show you. And I have that expensive vegan mayo. That's almost $12. And even these, from Follow Your Heart, vegan mayonnaise is pretty expensive at almost $8 here for that one. And then the soy free kind, wow, that's almost $9.50. Another new item, whole grain oatmeal, which is also vegan if it doesn't have anything in it that includes milk. We'll see at the ingredients here. You see, there's nothing in there that you can't have if you're vegan. And these all look pretty darn good, these whole grain oats here. Might actually try them sometime. Even got ones with less sugar in it. For people who don't 
eat a ton on uh, sugar. Here's some more new items here. To frozen bagged meals. those I've shown you in the past. One little pan over here. Remember to see the prices here, you can always pause the video. This concludes my shop with me at Kroger Marketplace. And if you like this, Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to press that notification bell to know when our next videos are coming out. Thanks for watching.